There are seven colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Joshua Freitas has written a book on how the environment use of purposeful color, music, and lighting can reduce instances of sundowning and negative expression in people living with dementia. Wow, people living with dementia can really be affected by just the simple colors around them. Joshua, this is a fascinating subject. Yeah, uh, subtle cues we sometimes take for granted uh, do play a big role for people with memory impairment. So, um, even people living at home or residential communities, there's mm -hmm. a lot of tweaks we can make in the environment to shape behaviors in a positive light. Uh, for example, uh, sundowning, which is a behavior right. that happens in the evening when mm -hmm. they're confused if it's morning or night um, due to the hormones and neurotransmitters in the body can be actually influenced by lighting. A lot of people don't realize uh, the color red, for example, is a mm. melatonin suppressant for lighting. So it actually fosters uh, healthy sleep cycles and can actually minimize sundowning, Or LED lighting actually wakes people up. So that subtle cue ah. that even a $19 sleep aid nightlight on Amazon can right. reduce some of those behaviors and make life a little easier. And this is it. You, we were just chatting off camera about what a, a difference in the person's whole environmental situation as we grow older, we need to start thinking about those types of small details. You, you wouldn't really think about, oh, the difference in a, a light bulb or a, a light or maybe the color of the wall in your house really yeah. can, can foster uh, different expressions. So. Definitely, and a lot of times we don't think of it like even taking apart this room, if you saw this rug, which is uh, busy in pattern, sometimes yes. people with dementia will get down and pick up things things are on it, or this, uh, this sofa that's all one color will uh -huh. be hard to navigate where to sit because it looks like a big blob oh. versus having different color pillows or oh, different sure. color cushions. Oh, see, and that's just a simple thing to think about and making such a difference. Now, we're, we're gonna talk about the bathroom, because <laughs> it, it's something I hadn't thought about, but you yeah. mentioned how colors in, in a bathroom can really be important. Definitely. Um, many seniors wake up in the middle of the night and have to use the restroom. Right. People with dementia have some confusion, and white is the hardest color to see. So a white door, white wall can be hard to navigate, but also a toilet seat. Tan or white doesn't provide enough color, so it looks like a white blob. Sure. So they can't see where to sit nor where to go to the bathroom. So right. by buying a $12 different color toilet seat, like a lime green foam, allows them to see where to sit, reducing falls and also a broken hip, which is a, um, a, a, a big, a big possibility. So uh -huh. helping them just by a $12 investment in a different color toilet seat can really help. Can make all the difference in the world. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And now you've talked about red having a certain effect. What about black? Because I, I know that yeah. that's, a, that's a, a tough color to deal with sometimes. So uh, the color black, there's something called the Simmons Project where they studied the color black from the kneecap down and saw that it's scary. So really? a black welcome mat, a lot of times people with dementia will stop and tiptoe around it. Um, or a black street, they'll touch it thinking it's water. So oftentimes changing the welcome mat, letting first responders mm -hmm. know if you go in to help somebody remove that black mat to get them out of the house safely. Um, but even uniform colors, people with Parkinson's or Louie bodies might resist care if you have black mm -hmm. shoes and black pants. So getting really? caregivers to know to wear tan pants and white shoes can actually improve care for care in the home or in a residential setting. Sure, again, it's just those little details that you know, really make a difference. You also mentioned uniform colors. <laughs> that, can, that can make a difference as well. Yeah, so as we age, we get a yellow film over the eye, changing the way we process color. So mm -hmm. bright colors stand out, especially the color lime green. Mm -hmm. So um, where I currently work, we've used lime green uniforms to decrease behaviors. So when they look out at a crowd of people, they know who to go to when they need help to go to the bathroom, when they're looking for something, right. or just want someone to talk to. That is absolutely fascinating. It's just those small details, Joshua, that really make a difference in our environment. And you know, Joshua, this has been a fascinating discussion on how the purposefully use of color really helps support individuals with memory loss. Fascinating subject. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the opportunity.